Fishly. Hello. Hello there. Uh, oh, I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. Silly. But I'm not a stranger. You see, we've already met. We're very close. Mama! Where's your mommy? I would simply love to have you for lunch. I don't want any lunch. All I want is my mama. Aren't you the sweetest thing? How about I take you out a little further? That way, no one will hear you and your whining. Bright white. Don't worry. Kuba soon will fly away from here. And it will be much warmer. Someone help me! Over there! Someone seems to be in danger! Aren't you getting sick of yelling? Don't you realize no one can hear you scream out here? Oh, but he's so small and bright white. He desperately needs our help. <sighs> I'm tired. Time to eat something. Mama! Oh, oh, no, oh. Jump to us! Quickly! How dare you! Give me back my lunch! Hey, you kids! You up there! I'm going to teach you a lesson. Ow. Let's land! You're safe here! Hey, you up there! Bring me back my lunch! Hi, little buddy. I'm Leo. Tell us, what's your name? I'm back, and I want to go home to my mama. Little guy, where do you live? I don't know. I ended up getting lost. Don't <laughs> cry. We'll find your home for you. And your mama. And your mama. Thank you. <laughs> Look down there. He looks exactly like Abak, but he's black and he's barking. <laughs> barking? He's looking for Abak, Tig. Let's go. <sighs> hey there. Were you looking for our little seal friend? Looking? I need some help. Can't you see? I'm stuck here. Then we'll help you get out of there, buddy. One, two, pull it! <laughs> Careful! Don't tear my snout off! I'm really proud of it! Don't worry! You won't lose your snout! Maybe if we pull harder, we can... Ow, 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 ow! No! Oh, ow, ow! Thank you! Now we can introduce ourselves. My name is Stromai. I'm an elephant seal. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Leo the Leopard. These are my friends, Tig, Martik, Kuba, Yara, Mila, and Lily. And we recently ran into another elephant seal. His name is Apak. He's just lost and looking for his mother. He's not an elephant seal. He doesn't even have a snout. But I do. Do you see my snout? Only elephant seals have snouts like these ones. And I'm as black as the night. But Abak is bright white. Elephant seal babies are always black. But white babies are sea calves. Uh, so that means a pack's a sea calf? Hmm. He's still white right now. Huh? But when he grows up, then he'll become a hard seal. It's all so complicated, but you look so much alike. <laughs> we look alike, but not that much. My mom once told me a story that long, long ago, some animals got tired of living on land and they decided to live 
in the ocean. Their legs and arms transformed, and they became flippers. Those who began to make ice holes were then known as hard seals. And those who learned to dive much deeper and farther than the others suddenly grew long snouts. They were known as elephant seals. And the meanest, smartest ones of all were covered in spots and grew very sharp teeth and hunted other seals. They were known as sea leopards. I know where the seal rookery is. I can take you all there on the iceberg. Hey, you kids! Bring me back my lunch! How dare you! Oh, I'm not floating on that iceberg. We'll go on land then. Do you see that river? Follow it upwards to the source. Then you turn left, and finally you'll see the seal rookery. Aren't you coming along with us? No, sorry, but I'm much too clumsy on land. Okay, then Tig and I will take Apac, and you guys can guard the ship. But remember, do not go through the waterfall. There are sea leopards in there. I think we got lost somewhere. We're going and going, but it looks like we haven't found the source yet. <gasps> Over there! I bet she can help us. Hi there, Auntie Hardseal. Well, hello there, children. I'm Leo, and this is Tig, and that's Apac. And I'm Motney. Are you two out here all by yourself? Yeah, we're helping our friend Apac get back home to the rookery. Can you please tell us the best way to get there? Apac, oh, they sent me out to look for you. The whole rookery is worried. However, your parents aren't there right now. What are you waiting for? Let's go. Apac's parents are waiting and so am I. Uh, are you a hard seal? You don't really look like my mama or papa. That's why my name is Motney. In our language, it means not quite like the others. Did you get that? Oh, yeah. But why do you have so many spots? <gasps> I got dirty when I was looking for you. But once we get to the rookery, I'll wash it off. And why do you have such, such great big flippers, huh? Ah, oh, my flippers? Well, you will have them too when you grow up. <laughs> Whoa! <sighs> That's the waterfall, huh? That's a dangerous place. <laughs> why did you bring us over here? <laughs> hey, why do you have such great big teeth? Uh, uh, my teeth? What, what big teeth? No. <laughs> I think that this heart seal isn't really a heart seal. You're right. And I have great big teeth because they're all the better to eat you with, you silly children. <laughs> She's really a sea leopard! Run away! Save yourselves! <laughs> oh. Hurry! This way! But it's dark and scary! <sighs> 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 Come now. I've delivered your little white ball of fluff, huh? Safe yeah. and sound. Yeah. Uh, uh. Mama, I miss you both so much. Apac, don't crawl so far away next time. <laughs> I won't. Thank you so much. We could have lost our little son without you. 
Mama, Papa, could we take them back to their ship? Of course we can, son. And we'll take the safest way back. I promise that when I grow up and I'm a big and strong heart seal, that I'll swim to the taiga to visit you. Papa! <laughs> we'll be waiting! <laughs> <laughs> Bad luck. Again. I'm not playing this game anymore. <laughs> look, look. Cuba found Spike again. <laughs> Unbelievable. Spike can't hide to save his life. What? <laughs> what do you mean can't hide? Well, I'll show you how to hide. That means you too, little piggy. <gasps> it's a black frog. <laughs> What's the matter? <gasps> Don't you know? Running into a black frog is bad luck. Bad luck, I'm telling you. <gasps> a black frog! Stop! Stop! Don't move! <gasps> back! Back, I say! Oh, back! Ah, run away! Run away! Oh, big deal. A black frog. So what? It's just a superstition. We don't believe in such things. Okay, we gotta go. Let's go. <laughs> Have a look. Isn't she a darling? Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. You guys know nothing about being fabulous. Cuba? Are you all right? Leo, what if this thing is actually for real? What are you talking about? A black frog hopped on Cuba. And Spike said that this is bad luck for him. A black frog? Huh. Actually, there is a story I heard before. It's of the spooky swamp monster. <laughs> In the dark and gloomy forest, in a spooky, noxious swamp, there once dwelled the evil, wicked swamp monster. <laughs> and it was bringing nothing but misery to every creature in the forest. So the kind spirit of the taiga chose to punish the swamp monster. And he turned it into an eerie black frog. But even as a frog, the inhabitants of the forest could not rest, for the swamp monster continued his reign of terror, bringing bad luck to all who crossed his path. <laughs> So it means Cuba is going to be <laughs> Don't get yourselves worked up. They say that the curse only works for just one day. 
if nothing happens to Cuba overnight, then you don't have to worry about a thing. See? Relax. Nothing will happen to him. Together, we'll protect him. <laughs> Tig, keep your eyes peeled. I will, Leo. By the way, I just remembered one more sign of bad luck. Cuba, spit it out! What if they're last year's? Everyone knows this fact. The one who eats last year's acorn will have an oak tree grow out of his head. I heard this from Magpie. So, Cuba, you better play it safe. You'll eat tomorrow. Cuba! Cuba! Cuba, you can't roll in the mud! Did you know that there are evil spirits there? That's it. They must be hiding in there for sure. <laughs> Cuba, be careful! There could be snakes in the grass! <laughs> Don't be scared, Cuba! We got you! We won't let anything bad happen to you. Look, Cuba. The sun is setting. Tomorrow the bad luck will wear off for sure. We just have to survive the night is all. Yeah, and I know a safe place right around here. Bravo, Tig! You found us a pretty good cave. Nothing bad is going to happen to Cuba here. You got that right. Did you hear the story about the cave monster? Nope, Tink. He's somewhere around here. And then the monster suddenly jumps out. Cuba! 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 Cuba, Cuba wait! Cuba! Cuba, wait! <laughs> Cuba, stop! Cuba, stop! Cuba, stop! Cuba, Cuba stop! curse must be real. He's doomed to sit in this pit till the end of time, huh? Tig, we need to ask Mappa Pandiga for help. All right. The black frog, you say? Well, yes. It brings bad luck. Please tell me how a small, tiny little frog could have driven Cuba into a pit. Well, it wasn't the frog. He did it himself. He got scared to death and... Well, who scared him that much then? Yes, uh, who indeed? Why are you looking at me like that? Tig? I think all our stories may have scared the living hooves out of Cuba. Oh. <laughs> oh. Kids, with your good intentions, you trampled a path for your friend. Right to a pit. You know what? Because of all these bad luck signs, even I started to get spooked. We're sorry, Cuba. How about... Some hide.
hide and seek. <laughs> That's bad luck for sure. Tig! I hope those aren't last year's acorns. Tig! Aw, oh, come on! I'm just kidding! Burnt Forest Mystery. Okay, Tig, let her play. And we'll get Martique on board. That's him in the grass. Night has fallen, but there's a noise. Now, old Cedar, raise your voice. Martique, come join us. No, no can do. I've got pine cones to collect here. Why do you need so many, Martique? Well, it's for an important task. <sighs> Follow me, I'll show you. That's where our cedar pine grew. It burnt down. The spruce was here. Also burnt down. Yeah, the red deer spared no one. <laughs> and this is my home tree. Well, it was. Night has fallen, but there's a noise. Now, old cedar, raise your voice. Quiet branches, don't be loud. Mark to cure is sleeping sound. Little squirrel, now you sleep tight. Close your pretty lullaby that our tree sang to me. This tree? Sang it? <laughs> That's true. I heard it in the rustle of the leaves. Martique, what do you need the pine cones for? What do you mean? For the seeds. I'll collect a big pile of them. Then I'll plant them, and our forest will grow big again. Then you should have said so. And you really shouldn't be making up singing trees. 
Cupid. Go on then. Get digging. We're planting a forest. Tig, wait. Do you know how long it will take them to grow? A century! There must be some faster way to do it. No, children. I don't know of a faster way. But I do know one legend. That was a long time ago. The tiger was visited by an enormous red deer and set the whole forest ablaze. The fire was so strong that even the spirit of the tiger himself got scared. The spirit hid in the last cone on the very top of the tallest cedar tree. The cedar started reaching for the sky to save the spirit of the tiger. The red deer couldn't reach the cone, and he retreated. The cedar opened the cone. Its seeds were scattered, and wherever they hit the ground, a forest started to grow really fast. Because that cone had the magic power of the spirit of the tiger. Since then, the cedar has been here. They call it the Great Cedar because it saved the tiger. That's the story, kids. Wow, Mappa Pandiga, I thought it was called Great because it was really big. But as it turns out, it saved all of the tiger. Hmm. We must find a way to get to the highest cone. What if it's a magic one? Let's just plant regular seeds here. Tig is scared. <laughs> well, uh, I'm not scared. Tig, come on. We'll climb it somehow. That's what we have claws for. Huh? It might get windy. Uh, what we should do is get the cone by throwing a stone. Hey, guys, up there, look. <laughs> Not far now. It's magic. Hooray! <laughs> what do we do next, Leo? We'll scatter the seeds around from the top of the very tallest tree, like in the legend. That way, the seeds will be spread far and wide. The tallest tree here is my home tree. want us to plant the magic cone's magic seeds. What do we do? Make it leap. Take that! And, and that! And no. There. Against such a big, strong monster, we don't stand a chance. But I've got a plan. Listen. Hey! Monster! Look what I've got. It's a magic pine cone. If you want it, come and get it! <laughs> What? It's not magic. <laughs> and the magic cone goes to Martique. Martique, go on. <sighs> it's too high. Martic, be careful. <gasps> Someone's flying on a wing Tiny forest bright 
who won't scare at night. Magic dreamland here awaits. Don't be scared! It's the tree spirit! It's calling you with grace. Can you hear that? Listen, that's... We'll show you the pretty world. That's his lullaby! It is full of magic goods. It's all true! It's a singing tree! It's so beautiful! Hooray! Wow, beautiful! <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> we did it, home tree! <laughs> the forest is alive again already! Yup! A miracle! <laughs> For all miracles are done by the power of love. And if you have a magical pine cone, that also helps. <laughs> 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 Catch! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> uh, oh! Hey, Cuba! <laughs> Catch! <laughs> Ew! Cuba! Look! You're a real pig! <laughs> oh, Cuba! Stop rolling around! Let's play! Cuba in love. Cuba! What, you get stuck over there? <laughs> oh! Look at that! A piggy! I haven't seen her before. I know her. I do. This is Lada. Her family just recently moved into our forest. <laughs> it looks like our Cuba has, you know, fallen in love. <laughs> uh, love, love. I can see, my friend, that your heart was touched by a wonderful feeling. Why don't I tell you a love story? Once upon a time, in the taiga, there lived a swan princess, a real beauty. She had three suitors. The first one dove to the bottom of the sea and got her all. Look how well I can dive! I am the very best! Well, the second one flew to the top of the highest mountain and brought from the peak a precious gem. Look how high I can fly, princess. It's me who's the best. Now the third swan started to think, what present should he give to the princess? Well, he flew far and wide in search of a worthy present. He almost gave up. But one day, while flying over a glade, he spotted a snowdrop. He gave the snowdrop to the princess and told her that only the first flower of spring was worthy of her beauty. And the princess made her choice. She gave her love to the third swan. Because unlike the other two, he was thinking about her and not himself. Eh? So what? I don't get it. Cuba's got to give the girl a snowdrop, then? It's not snowdrop season. It's not about snowdrops. Don't be shy. All you have to do is go to your beloved and do something from the heart. Cuba, wait! Legends are great, of course. Uh, but you're, you know, no swan. You can't go meet her like that. I bet she won't even talk to you. Q 
Cuba, you're covered in mud from hooves to tail. <coughs> Don't despair, Cuba. We can help you. I can't turn you into a swan, but a very handsome boar you could be, okay? That I can promise you. <coughs> <coughs> Cuba, hang on! Beauty always has a price. There you go, Cuba. Now you're the most handsome boar in the woods. Wait! We still aren't finished yet. Cuba, you're clean all right, but you're still... a little bit plain. You know? Don't you worry, buddy. Cause we're gonna dress you up. better now. As good as a swan. <laughs> Remember, you, sir, are the fanciest boar in all of the taiga. Now go! <laughs> <laughs> Set Cuba. Girls don't know anything about being beautiful. What if she's just not attracted to flashy looks? Right. How should we, I mean Cuba, try to win her over then? He should try to do something impressive. Heroic even. A feat. That's it. Cuba, how do you feel about fighting a wolf? <laughs> How about crossing the rapids? Or would you... <sighs> jump across a huge gorge? <sighs> it won't work, Leo. Cuba is afraid of everything. That's fine. I've got an idea for you. I told you this wasn't going to work. Stay right there. 
Come on now, Cuba. Who cares? She's just some girl. She is bound to like you, you know. You are so, so... <laughs> Get away from me. Phew. Looks like we're too late. I don't get it. So what? Did Cuba chase the wolf away? You would have chickened out, I bet. What? No way. A wise man once said, Be yourself, and you'll find someone's heart will open to you. <laughs> Little Blizzy. Papa Pintiga put me in charge of collecting cones. No! Let's go! Martens! Target detected! The spotted one and the striped one! Get your best cones ready! And shoot! <laughs> Now we have enough food supplies for the whole winter. Let's go to Mappa. Oh, he'll be so happy. <laughs> <laughs> what now? <laughs> he says enough food supplies for the whole winter. <laughs> Whatever. Spike, just to be clear, when are we going to start stocking up on food? We are not. Martins never stock up on food. Martins use their brains instead. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> good job. Well done. It's great to see how many cedar nuts you brought us. In the taiga, food stock is the most crucial thing. Without it, you can't survive winter. When the blizzard comes, you will all be grateful to me. Where will it come from? Yeah. Where does the blizzard come from? Where is her home? Mappa Pandiga, tell us, please, where does the blizzard live? There's not much to tell, really. The blizzard lives in her icy castle on the top of the highest mountain, where snow doesn't melt all year long. And when the winter comes, she goes down into the taiga. And then... Be careful not to make her angry. If the blizzard gets angry, bad things are coming. She will freeze everyone and turn everyone into ice. No one will be spared, neither animals, nor birds, nor trees. They say once the entire taiga almost died because of its icy breath. Chilly. What if that's the blizzard getting angry? The... the blizzard? Angry? That's just a fairy tale, right, Mappa Pendiga? Maybe it's a fairy tale, or maybe it's not. Leo, where are we going? We have to find the blizzard and find out what made her so angry. Look, there is no blizzard. You heard, Mappa. It's just a fairy tale. <gasps> Did 
Did you hear that? That's her. The blizzard. Hide now! Quickly, quickly, hide the food stock before the blizzard manages to find it. Go ahead, hide them. <laughs> They're going to be ours anyway. We just need to come up with a plan. Come on, Spike. Think. Mappa Pandiga! Mappa Pandiga! We know why the blizzard is upset and angry. It's because she lost her only daughter, Blizzy. We need to find her. Then the blizzard will stop being angry. And the tiger won't freeze! Ah, good idea. Okay, so the blizzard lost her only daughter. <laughs> Very interesting. I think I've come up with a plan. They're gonna give us all their stock themselves. Follow me! wants to find you so badly, they will give up everything, even their food stock for the winter. I want my mommy. Spike, what are we supposed to do? <laughs> You're supposed to watch the Blizzy. Don't let her out of your sight. <laughs> what is she doing? I don't know. Probably just wants to play a bit. Look here. No, stop. Oh, yeah. give you the blizzy, and in exchange, you give us all the food you've stocked for the winter, and everyone's happy. So, how do you like my plan? How do you like my plan? Have a taste of this. Wait now, Tig. We need to get blizzy back whatever it takes, or else the tiger might come to an end. What about our stock? We'll have to find more then. Spike? We take the deal. That's good. This is my kind of conversation. I've always been saying, you just need to use your brain. Spike, the blizzy <laughs> fell into a cave. What? Say what? A little more, and the whole tiger will be frozen. We need to get Lizzie back right now. Here. This is where she fell through. We'll have to follow her down there. Down there? Into the icy labyrinth? No! The icy labyrinth? Leo, we're not going in there, right? I will go. Oh, no way, Leo. Uh, okay, I'll go too. I'm just gonna get some cones first, because there are, you know, all kinds of bats and also spiders. Boy, do I hate all these labyrinths. Lizzie! I think we should go right. Let's go right if you say so. Blizzy! Another dead end. There's no way we'll be able to find her. And even if we do, we won't make it out of here. Get up, Tig. We have to move. Uh, where on earth did those two go? <sighs> See, Shorty? It's all because of you. Why is it always me? She started it. <laughs> And who is that? Oh, Leo, look here. It's a cedar nut. So it means we've already been here before. A cedar nut? Wow! Tig, you're a genius! Me? Well, I mean, thank you. Okay, give me the cone. It will help us not to get lost. All right. So we can use the little nuts to mark our trail. I come up with the best ideas. <laughs> Tig, this way! We found her! <laughs> mommy! Where's my mommy? Hey, don't 
cry? You want your mom? Let's go. We know the right way. With the feathered ones. Shorty. Go see what all the buzz is about. You stop your chittering right away. We can't get no sleep. Shoot, shoot. Pipe down, you hear me? Who's flopping their trap this early in the morning? They, they did, did it. it. Quiet. Stop yapping. Hey, you. Seems to me like it's you who's yapping here. And the birds are singing. No one can sing this nice in the whole forest. Oh, yeah? We'll see about that. Shoe feather freaks get moving. Your presence here, we're disapproving. Messing with my sleep, who? Well, I say shoe. Sing now, birdie, sing the song. Sing about the thing along. Forest dwellers need to hear just how lovely you can sing. Shoe feathered one shoe. This is our forest, not yours. You disturb our sleep, so once again, shoo! Birdies, don't you be afraid. Just get comfy in your nest. We've been waiting for so long just to listen to your song. This is our forest, ours only. Feathered ones need to go! Songs of joy, spring is here. We love singing, can't you sing? Sing and whistle, do a dance. You'll bring spring into our land. Forest flowers <laughs> need to hear just how lovely you can sing. This is our forest, not yours! You disturb our sleep, so shoo now! This forest is not all yours, so stop being so bossy! Leave our feathered neighbors alone! Well, how about this, huh? And this! What are you doing? Stop it right now! <laughs> I'm the boss around here, you all got that? Is that right? Well, you're not the boss of me! Yeah? <laughs> we run this forest. You all got that? I don't think so. Uh -oh. Come on, you all got nothing on us. <laughs> Take this, you striped wool sack. What? I'm going to show you. <laughs> Wait, I have no time for you right now. Leo, check your six. Watch out. Ooh. Oh, oh. stop it. Cut it out right now. <laughs> the birds are leaving. <laughs> Can we have a time out? <laughs> What's this? You give up? 
<laughs> now you know who's the boss around here. Not you. You just wait and see. Everyone, get back to the base. It's time to drop our battle plan. Yara, you wait over here. Mila, you run over here and draw them into a trap. <laughs> Those? No! No, they can't be! My, my mom told Where me... Where did they come from? That they, that they sucked the blood out of everyone! Oh, no! How terrible! What do we do? Let's run to Mapa. He must know. going to have to stay in here forever? Why forever? In winter, the squeaky mosquitoes go to sleep. Mappa Pandiga, what sort of squeakers are these anyway? And what are these mosquitoes? Good oh boy. My great-grandfather told this story to my grandfather. One day, the spirit of the tiger's own brother, Amber, was visiting him. But Amber was so evil that the animals of the tiger didn't want anything to do with him. It made Amber very angry. So he made up his mind to punish the animals. He summoned swarms of mosquitoes, squeaky mosquitoes. Poor animals had nowhere to hide. They went to complain to the kind spirit of the tiger. The spirit of the tiger asked Tiger to deal with the mosquitoes. <laughs> tiger couldn't do a thing. The squeaky mosquitoes were too small and too fast. Then the spirit of the tiger sent Leopard to fight them. Whoa. And then Wolf. But they returned empty-handed. Then a little birdie flew to him and said, Can I try? The spirit of the tiger agreed. You can, my friend. The birdie unleashed a mellifluous song, summoning the birds. Answering the boisterous call, the birds filled the sky, their wings flapped with vigor, and their beaks snapped with thunderous might. Not a day passed when the mosquitoes disappeared. The squeaking mosquitoes were gone. I know what we need to do. We gotta get all those birds back to the forest. I just don't know how we're gonna do it. We hurt them really bad. So that explains why there's so many mosquitoes in the taiga. <gasps> okay, what did you guys do to the birds? Well, we first tried to defend them from the martins. We really stuck it to them and made things much worse. Mm -hmm. uh. <laughs> 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 The spirit of the tiger come to us. Oh, come to us, spirit of the tiger, and help us. Help us lest the tiger dry up and become a desert. Go on, go on. Oh, the great spirit of the taiga, please help us to bring back the birds to our forest. We'll always treat them well and never harm them. And we will protect them with our lives. 
And I beg you, the great spirit of the tiger, please, please. I miss hearing them sing so much. We will cherish each one of them. We'll never take them for granted. sense now. The mosquitoes are scared of the birds. Build your nest. Go on, build them. The best spots are right here, next to our home, our hollow. Here, here, and over here. Sing now, birdies, sing this song. Sing out loud, let's sing along. Forest dwellers need to hear just how lovely you can sing. Birdies, don't you be afraid. Just get comfy in your nest. We've been waiting for so long. Just to Lost Inspiration. Ready? Yeah, I was born ready. Go for it. Okay, guys. Watch and learn. <laughs> well, want to give it another try? Nah, I'm so bored. How about we play some tag instead? No, thank you. We play tag every day. Ugh. Well, then, maybe go to the river? Why, I don't mind. There are such beautiful water lilies there. The river again? Like we haven't done that a billion times already. Ugh. Boring. Stork Theodore has lost his inspiration! Stork Theodore has lost his inspiration! Breaking news! Breaking news! Stork Did you Theodore hear? Theodore has lost his, uh, inspiration. <sighs> yeah, so? What do you mean? You said it yourself, boring. Here's our chance for some adventure. We'll help Theodore find this thing, inspir. Oh, yeah? You're right. Come on, let's go. Leo, by the way, what is inspiration? Well, ta-ta-ta, ta-ta-ta-ta. <laughs> Ta 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 ta. The sun peaked from the clouds like a star among the crowds. Oh no, that's no good. Hello, Theodore. We heard that you lost your uh, the thing that what's it called, huh? Ta 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 ta. How about we help you find it again? Could you tell us what it looks like? This thing we're looking for. The inspiration. Oh, it's so luminous. Is so, so magnificent. It, it's like uh, uh, like a flower. Like uh, 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 inspiration livens up everything, even the most commonplace trees. You can see how they breathe. Oh. I think I found it. Found what? That thing, you know. Ta-ta-ta, ta-ta-ta. Let me have a look. 
Hmm. Hmm. Well, indeed, this magical stone is very similar to inspiration. This is the one you call inspiration. This stone is truly magical. A magical stone! Leo has found a magical stone! A magical stone! Leo has found a magical stone! Leo has found a magical stone! A what magical is this stone. magical stone? It is so shiny, so beautiful! Hmm, beautiful and shiny? I like the sound of that. The magical stone must be mine! Hmm. Ta 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 ta. Oh, very good. <laughs> That's our Theodore. Be quiet. <laughs> Theodore has to know something. <clears throat> and now I will sing for you my new song. Uh, it's to be honest, it's not exactly ready yet, but still. <laughs> <laughs> and now... Help! 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 You hear that? Help! Someone's calling for help! Let's get moving! Go! Go! Help me! I'm drowning! I'm drowning! <laughs> <laughs> Here it is! The magical stone! <laughs> <gasps> Spotty and Stripe are coming back here! Let's run! Hmm, that's strange. No one was there. <gasps> Who cried for help? Hold on. Where's the stone? It was right there. <gasps> Martins! They've stolen our stone! <gasps> Such cunning trickery. I just can't believe it. In a world where this is possible, there's no place for inspiration. I'm sorry. I have to be alone. I guess he must be very upset. Tell me about it. Once again, he lost his... Ta-ta-ta, ta-ta-ta. The magic stone was stolen. You know what? We're gonna get the stone back. <laughs> Good idea. Then inspiration will come back to Theodore. Let's go! Right. Finders, weepers, loses, keepers. Oops. No, wait. Finders, keepers, loses, weepers. What? Isn't that right? Sounds about right. <laughs> and you only have yourself to blame. <laughs> Give us a stone. Not gonna happen. Let's roll. Go Give out, us get a out. stone. <laughs> Stop, thieves. <laughs> I think we lost them. Haha, -ha, you're busted! Give me the stone! No, it's mine now! Marcus, let's go! <laughs> Give back our stone! Not a chance! <laughs> Breaking news! Breaking news! Magpie has rescued the magical stone! Breaking news! Breaking news! Magpie no, has rescued no, the magical the stone! No, no, the stone is ours! Stone. Hey, wait! Come back here! We can't catch Magpie for sure. But well, what are we going to say to Theodore? Well, you see, all in all, the stone was almost in our hands. But then we lost it. You mean that is to say you did all of this for me? Yes. Yes, because we wanted to give you back your, your da-da-da-da-da. Inspiration. We tried our very, very best. We really did. Will you forgive us, Theodore? Forgive you? But for what? This is the most inspirational thing I've ever heard. Nobody's done ever anything like this for me. You are my inspiration. And the stone? <laughs> it's just a stone. Really? Sure. You know what? I think my song just might be ready now. Here, listen to it. As the clouds depart the sky, inspiration makes us fly. 
As the clouds depart the sky On your friends you can rely <laughs> Let the sun shine upon friendship <laughs> To the sun will wave hello We're all friends, don't you know? Whatever happens, rain or shine, when together we'll be fine. With our friends standing side by side, what we do is quite the ride. Let's take an adventure, we'll make it a joint venture. At all this magic oh, 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 oh. With such friends Nothing is tragic oh, 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 oh. Round and round Sun bunnies dancing oh, 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 oh. Happy days They are enhancing oh, oh. Friends, nothing is tragic. Round and round, sun bunnies dancing. Happy days, they are enhancing. Keep looking, the stone has to be there. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, uh, uh -huh. Happy days they are enhancing. 